smack life with the trees living like a lemur. Uh, the area is more like you were saying. It was it's more lean to go go. So yeah. How you, how you fall into the rap like? Uh, like what I, influences. Like, well, like far as rap. Yeah. Uh. I mean, like, for real, for real, like, the dope boys in my neighborhood, they used to rap, you know what I'm saying? And I used to be like, damn, I want to be like them because they'll be in the hood with endless little cars, money, bottles yeah, every weekend, yeah, yeah. turned up on the uh, on the block with the girls coming through and shit like that. So, you know, then when I really start, because I never really listen to rap. I, like, listen to it, but I didn't really listen to it. Like, I listen to Go-Go every right. fucking day. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, and it's yeah. the opposite, you know what I'm saying? But when I, then I start listening to rap, watching rap videos and all that, then I just start liking it more and more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, shoot, we will get to the entrepreneur shit too, cause you just like you 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 just like one of the OGs of the entrepreneur. Yeah. Like pushing your brand and all that shit. Like yeah. That. Um, but as far as uh, the music going, alright. So you that XIB run it was like a a new wave of go go, but like the sounds y'all was coming out with wasn't like. The typical shit and still to the uh -huh. day they just couldn't replicate yeah, nah, what nobody, doing nobody shit. can never do what Sweezy Gang do you ever man that shit was crazy <laughs> bro so where, where that inspiration come from like was y'all mixing the rap with the go-go or like how was that nah with, with XIB Sound it just took a lot of practice it took a lot of being different coming up with different songs and and XIBs do like a lot of samples, you know what I'm saying? They came yeah. with the samples, going crazy with the samples. James Brown. Yeah, all that shit. Like, yeah. um, and then like my cousin, he just stayed on their ass. You know what I'm saying? He came in there, bring songs to him, or people bring hooks in. And we just kept working and working and working. Like, niggas used to practice all the time. Yeah. And that shit was like, nigga, we ain't playing till we get these songs down. Like, we gotta skip shows to, to get this music right. We gonna skip shows. Like, that's how that shit used to be. That's mm -hmm. I mean, you could definitely hear it, bro, because going to the shows, bro, hearing the music, bro, that's Switch the crazy. whole sound up. Nobody can sound like XIB. Nobody, like you said, don't sound like SB. Never did sound like XIB. Like, even before I started being with XIB, like you said, that was a whole new wave of go go. Like, when I when I first started going to go go, it was high quality, N2L, UCB, uh, MOB, like I'm a big ass MOB fan, like that's my yeah, favorite band ever. TOB, like I remember I used to go to every fucking neighborhood day just to follow TOB, and like yeah, that's yeah. what I really used to want to play with. Like when I was young, like man, I want to play with TOB. Them niggas turned up, you know what I'm saying? Like that was the hottest young band at the time. Yeah, and then yeah. that new wave of Go Go came, XIB then turned up. They then motherfucking went from one sound to a new sound, you know what I'm saying? Just about practicing and practicing and practicing. Oh, that's all right. Had Showtime, Space, Vito, all three of them lead Mike. You got Rez on the two. Got J-Bo. Now J-Bo played with TCB. Like, that shit used to be like that. 